that you got a message for one of your YouTube videos which yeah. changed someone's yeah. life. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Okay, yeah. So, basically, I just feel like what I was just talking about is what, how we need to be careful. We're getting carried away with commenting, like wasting time, like watching things on YouTube and everyone just wants to comment, leave a comment underneath. And I think we're getting carried, everyone gets carried away with these things and they stop thinking about what is the intention behind these comments and what are you trying to achieve from it and you don't understand the depth of where this comment could lead to and where it could go and what it could cause. So like for example once I was in my house and a friend of mine who I know from like the film industry in the past he messaged me and he said bro I didn't know that you did this type of poetry and this type of work and he said um, I've just come across you online on YouTube so I said okay yeah and he said it looks good it looks good like I need to watch more of these videos it looks good so he's watching them and he was like you just told, told one about a story of why you converted to Islam and this is actually quite deep how come you don't spread this to like the non-muslims he said i'm interested in this so i was quite happy because i'm thinking wow he's interested in islam he's interested in what he's seeing so i left him and then a couple hours later he messaged me back so you know what youtube's like once you watch one video you can end up watching a video after video after video and be online all night before you know it but when he messaged me back and he said Bro, this last talk I just watched was deep and he seemed very interested. And this is someone who would have been over the moon if they had converted to Islam or something because like, they were close to me. So I was like, he said, yeah, this last video was so deep and it seemed like he was getting touched and he wanted to continue watching this stuff. So I was just making dua like, yes, please make him keep watching. I said, yeah, there's a few on there. Keep going. Then about an hour and a half later, he messaged me again and he said to me, bro, I said, yeah, he said, like, I was thinking to myself, you're still on YouTube. So he's been going for a few hours now. He's like, bro, like, I've been read watching these videos. Like, don't get me wrong, the video's good, but I've been reading the comments underneath. And he said, I don't understand. He, he said, why is the, the, the comments were so rude? Like, why are they being so rude? I said, what do you mean? He said, like, the, the way people are commenting underneath, they seem like they're Muslims, you can tell by the name, and it's a guy in the video is a Muslim, but they're saying such rude things. Like, why are they so rude? And I said, I'm trying to make excuses and not making the tear away from, like, the beauty of what he was watching, what he initially was feeling. So I said to him, nah, it's not, it's not like that. Like, the guy, I think the guy maybe made a mistake or he done something wrong that he shouldn't be doing. And then he's just like, nah, but these comments man if you read them have you seen some of these comments under the videos like they look crazy like they're being proper harsh proper rude and I said yeah that guy who was it he probably made a mistake then he said to me no but I'm watching your videos and they do it under your videos as well like they're being rude about you so I said what my videos he said yeah and I said yeah but bro I probably made a mistake and done something I shouldn't be doing like I've done many things I shouldn't do that's probably why so I'm just trying to make excuses and excuses until he said nah man that's too harsh so what you're saying to me he's trying to get understanding of this he said to me so what you're saying is so if I was a Muslim and I done something like that wrong like what you're saying you've done is this what I'll be having to put up with so I was I didn't know how to answer him. He's saying, is this what I would have to go through? He said, bro, that's crazy. I could never, ever join a religion like that. So I was thinking, look how it's changed. He said, bro, how do you even sleep at night? I wouldn't even be able to sleep if I knew that so much people are talking that kind of rude stuff about me. He said, bro, how do you even sleep? And then when he said, I could never, ever join that religion, nah. He said, religion for me is meant to be about, pe meant to be about love and caring and like helping each other. So it's like he's trying to give me dawah now. I was thinking, look at what we done. This is someone who was interested, who was watching the videos and he was feeling drawn in. He was feeling like attracted to what he's seeing. And after he's watching it and then he reads the comments, we brought him in and then we pushed him straight back out that same door. Because he started reading the comments. He started seeing how we, in how we interact with each other, how we treat each other. And he started feeling disheartened and saying, no, this is not for me. I could never, ever be a part of something like that. So... I just remember feeling like we really have to be careful you know because it's so easy to just watch a video and just write something rude underneath or to cuss someone but we really have to be careful about what we're saying and think what are we getting out of it so yeah that was that story and that's something we have to think about <laughs>